Hey guys, uh, so we are going to talk about um, once you have your thumbnails and your large paper, how you're going to start coloring. Um, the main thing when you have your thumbnails is you are going to decide on all of your placements and stuff, okay? You also are going to use your thumbnail paper to decide what colors you're going to use. So on your big drawing, you are going to do each object a different <coughs> excuse me, color combination. So I've already, you know, I already know what color combos, oh, that's a pencil, um, what color combos I'm going to use from my, you know, when you guys practiced all the four forms. So I already know, you know, the combos that work and what I like. So what you want to do is before you get started, kind of decide, you know, what color each object is. So um, really lightly with your pencil, or you could even do this on your thumbnail if you want. <clears throat> So red, I'm going to, where's my Sharpie? I'm going to draw on mine um, really big with a black Sharpie, uh, just so it shows up better on camera. So I'm going to decide that this guy is going to be red, okay? You are not drawing with a Sharpie on your own drawing, okay? And do not do this. Like, <laughs> do not draw a Sharpie on your thing. Okay, um, this one's going to be, I was gonna do orange, but it's gonna look too much like an orange. So I'll say yellow, and then maybe this one's the green that I like. And then my cone is gonna be blue. And then my box, um, uh, oh, maybe I'll do my box orange, okay? And I already know my color combos that I wanna use purple to shade with, not purple, uh, blue to shade with the orange, red to shade with the green, okay? Now, the main thing is your background or, you know, your, um, you know, whatever these objects are sitting on, the table or whatever, this should be one color, okay? This should be one color. You're not going to change the tabletop color, okay? So, <clears throat> whatever you've decided to do as your different colors, you want to do something different for your, your base here, okay? Um... And then whatever this background is, like this is your wall, this is gonna be another color. Now, when you go to shade, okay, first thing you wanna do is where is your light source coming from? Is your light source from the left? Is it from the right? Okay, that's gonna make a difference on which way your shadows and all of that kind of stuff are going. So I'm gonna say my light is coming from here. So that means that all of my highlights are right on this side of the the objects okay and their shadows because yes you're going shadows their shadows are going to be going that way because the light's coming from here so all of those shadows should be going that way so when you decide on what your base color is you also have to decide how you're going to shade your base color just like you did your other combinations of you know when you have a, a ball that's green and you use kind of a reddish color to shade it <clears throat> You're going to do the same thing with your base. So all of these shadows that you're going to draw, you've got to figure out what color combination. And you probably already know because you've been color combining for a while now. You probably already know how you want to do it. Okay? So I just wanted to lay that out because I know some of you guys are going to be ready to start um, doing color soon. And I want to get that ready for you. So yeah, have fun. Let's get started.